welcome back to my channel. We are headed to take Miss Wren to school and then we are gonna go grab our groceries this morning. So I thought I'd bring y'all along this morning, grab our groceries. I've got a crock pot recipe I'm gonna share with y'all. I just did like a weekly grocery haul. We needed like diapers too. I can't remember what else we needed, but just for the week, just kind of meal plan for the week. We have th things that I totally forgot about from our big Sam's Club haul that I recently did not too long ago. I have those, I have a bunch of things in my deep freezer. And so I didn't get a ton of dinner things because we really need to start using those. But let's go get our groceries. I'll show you everything we got for our weekly grocery haul, everything that I'm planning for our meals. And then I'm gonna share a good crock pot recipe with y'all. Here home. Got everything laid out. Are you saying good morning? She's saying morning, morning. We've got everything, or I've got everything laid out. Um, there's not a ton of stuff here. So I did need to get some diapers. <laughs> Don't mind the mess. Uh, by the way, if y'all have ever tried these diapers from Walmart, the All Good brand, I, those are so good. Millie, they're really good for Millie. They, she does really well with them. They're so soft. So we've been loving those lately. And then I got some bottled water. Um, for my meals, I'm gonna do a crock pot lasagna. If y'all have never made crock pot lasagna, it is so delicious. Crock pot lasagna is. Um, what else am I making? I've got stuff for, I've got two things of chicken in the freezer that we didn't use last time. So we're gonna do barbecue chicken sandwiches maybe tomorrow night. And then, um, another recipe with that chicken. It was the French onion chicken something. It's a Pinterest recipe that I found. I can't remember what it's called. Chicken and rice something. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we had on the menu. And then some freezer stuff. I might have, I feel like I had something else on the menu. I can't remember what it was. I also had roast on the menu, but we ended up eating that last night. So, um, I ended up, I was going to go get my groceries yesterday and then I changed it to today. So, all right, I'm going to flip this around and show y'all what we got for the week. So first of all, I did get a couple Kool-Aid jammers for the girls. And then we got some Pringles and then these um, cheddar stack things. Okay, then I grabbed some more butter, a few Lunchables to have for easy lunches. I got these to go with my water because I need to drink more water, especially being pregnant. So y'all know I love these. Remember when I was not pregnant and doing Weight Watchers. This was like my go-to for drinking more water. Uh, I grabbed some raspberries and some strawberries. We go through fruit and snacks more than anything and I always feel like I never get enough. And I meant to get bananas and I forgot those. But I grabbed these. I'm gonna, st I think I'm gonna stick these in our cookie jar. Um, our cookie jar right here that I did have <laughs> our uh, Christmas tree Reese's, but they're gone. So I think I'm gonna actually put cookies in there this time. Um, I grabbed some ricotta cheese for the lasagna. I also grabbed some Doritos for a snack. Okay, I grabbed this to go with my coffee. Um, Y'all know, or if you follow me on Instagram and you saw the past couple of vlogs, I guess, I did get an espresso. If it's still on major sale, I'm gonna link it below. I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond and I got this whole thing, plus the frother, which is in the wash, for less than $100. And just the frother is $100 itself. I got the whole Nespresso set for less than $100. So if it's still on sale at Bed Bath & Beyond or if I can find a really good sale, I'm gonna link it below. Just make sure you put in um, your email so you can get the 20% coupon and it comes down. I don't know if it still will be, but if it is, I love this thing so much. I'm so glad I ended up purchasing it. It's been something that I've wanted to purchase for months and I just kept saying, no, I'm not going to, but it's so, it been such a great purchase. All right, so I also saw this on like the holiday section of the Walmart grocery app or Walmart app. And I thought I'd try it. It looked really good. So I really love like peppermint chocolate stuff. So I'm gonna try it. Uh, I got that to go with our pasta as well. I got some turkey. These um, also saw with the holiday part. I thought it'd be really good for the girls with their hot chocolate. Holiday tree marshmallows. So got some of those. I grabbed some Italian sausage and some ground beef for the recipe. And I needed some more hamburger buns for our barbecue chicken. I grabbed a big thing of mozzarella cheese because I needed a lot for the recipe I'm making. And then we have some applesauce 
cinnamon applesauce, and yeah, all cinnamon applesauces. Um, grab some of that. That's Millie will grab this all day long and eat a bunch of applesauce. So I try to have as much as I can on hand, and I never, this is never enough for the week, so I grabbed a couple extra. Also some go -Gurts. and then back here I got some waffles. I got a couple these Belgian style waffles and some a little bit of, I like to put a little bit of heavy cream in my coffee. So grab some pancakes for breakfast and I grab this for my oven, for my stove area. Um, it is getting kind of dirty so I'm going to try that on there to try to scrape some of the dirty parts off. Extra crispy fries for the barbecue chicken. Grab some lasagna noodles and a couple things of pasta sauce. And that is it other than the diapers and water that is our little haul for the week all right we're gonna get started on this lasagna so that way i can go ahead and put it in the crock pot and let it cook for the majority of the day so what you're gonna need for crock pot lasagna you could definitely make your own sauce um but uh definitely i've done that before but definitely not doing that today so i just got a couple things of pasta sauce you're gonna need two of these 24 ounce jars or a big jar um, some mozzarella cheese, two eggs, ricotta cheese. I've saw some people also, and I think I've even tried it using cottage cheese as well, but I just love the taste of ricotta cheese. Some Parmesan cheese, some lasagna noodles, a pound of ground beef, and a pound of Italian sausage. You could do hot or mild, but for my girl's sake, I did mild Italian sausage. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cook up my ground beef and Italian sausage together and get that good and brown. I'll probably put some salt and pepper in here to cook this up. And this makes a good bit, so you're definitely gonna have lots of leftovers. All right, so I'm gonna let that cook, brown up, and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking the noodles as well. It is like a lot of prep work, but you can just get it done first thing in the morning. You don't have to do it at night. All right. Uh, the meat's always done. The water. I put some salt in the water. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, cook this, these lasagna noodles um, for about 10 or 11 minutes or so. And get these cooked down. And then I'm going to start making the cheese. And we'll get this all assembled. All right. We're going to go ahead and start our, on our cheese mixture. So I've got a 32... 32 ounce of ricotta cheese. I do have the whole milk one, but you can definitely use like the less fat one, 2%, 1% or whatever you'd like to use. And then I'm gonna add two eggs as well. And then I'm gonna add some mozzarella cheese, maybe like a cup or so. Maybe a little bit more than that. And then I've got some grated Parmesan. I'm gonna add pretty much the rest of that for the most part. I'm gonna save a little bit to garnish on top. And then you can add any seasonings. I'm just gonna do some garlic, because I just love the taste of garlic in recipes. And then I've got some Italian seasoning that I'm gonna go ahead and add as well. All right, and I'm just gonna give this a really good stir and mix this all together i should I, re, I wish i would have mixed my eggs up first but i wasn't thinking so i'm gonna give, just mix this really well all together all right trying to get this set up where y'all can kind of see but i'm gonna go ahead and start layering i'm gonna put this on low and i'm gonna cook it for the majority of the day like six seven eight hours okay so i'm gonna start Ooh, this pan's heavy i'm gonna start by adding a layer of meat sauce on the bottom just a little thin layer i'm then going to add these noodles just a layer of noodles And then lastly, I'm gonna add a layer of the cheese sauce. Okay. 
Then I'm gonna keep doing this until everything's used up. So a few more layers probably. layered I didn't use all of my noodles um maybe if I would have done a thinner layer of everything else I could have got there but I think I have plenty right here this is a big crock pot full and we probably won't even eat it all but I'm gonna let this cook all day and then I will come back when I add some more cheese to the top all right so this has been cooking for several hours so now we are going to add some mozzarella cheese to the top um and go ahead and let this cook for another hour so I'm just gonna add just a really good layer to this. Okay, and then I think I'm just gonna go ahead and add the rest of this Parmesan as well. I said we might garnish it with it, but I think I'm just gonna do this. Just add the rest of what we have. And I'm gonna let that cook just for around another hour and then we will be ready to eat. All right, an hour later, this is how it looks. It looks so good. You can even see it like bubbling right there. <laughs> looks so good. And then I've got just this garlic bread I got on the grocery order. Cheese garlic bread right there in the oven. I'm gonna cook that up. It looks so yummy and I'll plate it and show y'all. It looks so good though. All right, we're gonna get the girls. This is so much food. We're gonna get the girls a plate. Ethan and I will eat later. Today's gymnastics night. I know the girls are probably ready. Looks so cheesy. I think this would be definitely be a big hit with them. All right, we're gonna let theirs cool. <laughs> Don't look the best on their plates, but I'm assure you it's delicious. Let it let it cool while the bread finishes. And then I'm gonna turn this on warm and then we will eat it a little bit later. All right, lasagna is delicious. If y'all never made crock pot lasagna, it is, the I feel like the best way to make it. You could definitely do this and throw it in a pan uh, and an eight by, what is it? Nine by 13 bacon dish and throw in the oven this exact same way, but crock pot lasagna is so good. Um, so anyways, I hope you did enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys soon for another one. Bye.